Avoid this costly mistake when selling your home. Stay tuned to find out how. Hey, it's Melody Watts and Donna James with, with EXP, EXP Realty, Realty here in beautiful Rockwall, Texas. It's Make a Move Monday, and every Monday we get you one step closer to your next move by giving you the best tips and tricks for buying or selling your home. Melody, what is the most costly mistake home sellers make when pricing their home? Well, Donna, we know statistically that the longer your home is on the market, the lower the sales price will be. For this reason, it's so important to price your home right from the very start to maximize your profits. Now, that being said, the real most costly mistake that sellers make is not hiring the right agent, because really it's the agent's job to know the market and advise the sellers appropriately. Your realtor has access to all of the other homes on the market that are similar to yours. She will pick out the homes that are most comparable to you. And when I say comparable, I mean the same neighborhood or within a certain proximity, uh, similar in size, similar in age, and similar in features and upgrades. And naturally, every home is a bit different, so your realtor will then make adjustments to the price to account for all the differences. Your realtor will consider how long the homes took to sell and how much the sellers were giving the buyers and sellers concessions for uh, cash towards their closing costs or cash in lieu of repairs. Your realtor will consider the homes that have sold, but also the ones that are still on the market that are gonna be your competition. With all of this information and strong knowledge about your area, your realtor will be able to advise you of the very best list price. Melody, when I'm meeting with clients to talk about listing their homes, they always mention the tax value. Does tax value matter when you're selling your home? Well, unfortunately, tax values should really never be used to price your home. The basis for the tax values are really just general assumptions and are nowhere near accurate enough to base your sales price. So what about Zillow estimates? Texas is a non-disclosure state, so Zillow really doesn't even have the data on how much homes are actually selling for. And so those estimates in our area are not accurate at all. So Zillow also can't tell what's going on in the market, in the local market. They're global and we're local. So who gets to decide the sales price? Well, that's a good question. The seller gets to decide the list price, but the market decides the sales price. In other words, your home is only worth what someone will pay for it. That's so true. So how do you know if the price is right? Well, I usually find that about after about 10 showings, we get an offer. And every market's different, but for the average price point in our area, you know, it's reasonable to expect 10 showings in the first couple of weeks. And if you don't get the response that you expect, then there's a good chance that your home is overpriced. And there may be some additional things you can do to improve the showings on your home, such as your curb appeal, rearranging your furniture, some of those things may be more attractive uh, to your buyers. But the number one thing when a home doesn't sell, we find that helps with that is reducing the sales price. Well, that's it for now. What's your next move? Find out next week. Bye, Bye y'all. What am I going to say? I should have written it out. <laughs> what did you forget? We made a video about that. <laughs> Let's do that one again. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Seems good. Let me start over. <laughs> yeah.